What I am about to show you right now are some very graphic images. So viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Um, and then I just kind of let myself go. Priority was not to eat healthy. It was not to work out. I kind of got sick and tired of working out. I was bored of going to the gym. I just, I just didn't care. And this is what you get when you don't care. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Did you see that? I don't look as much like that anymore. And the reason for <laughs> that was this right here. Cake and ice cream and zero exercise and late night food comas. I would put myself into a food coma almost every single night. It was horrible. Why? I don't know. I think I let myself go. But I just can't believe that I gained over 60 pounds, 70. Depending on where you're starting from, my lowest, I'll show you, I was, when I was 20, I think I was 21, I was 185 pounds, muscle. Now I'm 225, 230. So depending on where in my life you, uh, the start point was, I have, in my, in my lifetime, I've gained over 100 pounds. I've, I've gained and lost a lot of weight. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. So if you're interested, stick around and maybe you'll learn something and maybe you'll incorporate it into your um, healthy lifestyle choices or maybe you already are healthy and, and none of that matters. Just my two cents in case you're curious about how I lost the weight. Does losing weight mean that you can't eat this stuff? Oh my god. No. Okay. This is supposed to be a little bit where I was gonna take one bite and throw it away. <laughs> it's so good though. Hold on, I'm done. The video today is gonna to be of how I lost the weight. Not only just how I lost the weight, but well, I was living in a van with no gym membership, no fridge, uh, uh, no way to cook food. Uh, how I lost 60, 65, 65 pounds. Wow, 65 pounds. So here's the story. I was really big and uh, I decided that I wanted to change my lifestyle, not go on a diet, but change my lifestyle make something work for me that I could do for the next 30 years, 40 years. So I decided that uh, five-ish days a week, I'm gonna exercise, and I'll show you my little exercise uh, regimen. I'm gonna show you the van version of it. Now I'm doing a little bit different because I've got some weights at, in my house, and once the gym's open back up, I'm gonna be lifting weights at the gym. And I'll show you my diet. Once again, diets change a little bit, but while I was living in a van, I'll show you the foods that I ate and how I calculated all my calories to lose weight. And now that I have a home, I get to cook delicious foods. But same, same, uh, same thing. Uh, track all of my calories and make sure that I am uh, not in a calorie surplus, which that chocolate slice of cake may have affected today. But it's important to know that uh, it's, uh, it's a long journey. Yeah, you're gonna screw up, you're gonna have bad days, but the next day is a fresh start. Get back on track, and uh, I think this took me like two years. Slowly, very slowly, two years, and I'm gonna continue going. That's just, uh, that's just it right there. Now, could have I done this in a year? Could have I done this in six months? Yeah, yeah, I could have restricted my calories and I could have worked out four hours every single day and ate nothing but chicken and broccoli and nibbled on ice cubes when I was hungry. But like I said, I want this to last for a long time. So I am making a plan that is easy to follow for years and years to come. Because trust me, and if you followed this 
YouTube channel for any duration of time, you'll know that I fluctuate. I can go up, I can go down, and I can go up quickly, and I can go down quickly. But I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be in shape for two months and then not in shape for ten. I don't want to be really good shape for the summertime and then bulk up in the winter time. I just want to be healthy and I want to look good. And for me, I feel better when I'm, when I'm uh, skinnier, when I have muscle on me, uh, when my face is a little more chiseled down here, other than, rather than this picture. What is that? I, I, I want to be more confident and that's, that's what exercise and health and, and being uh, in shape gives me. There's so many diets out there and there's so many ways to lose weight and to gain muscle and to do this and to do that. And I'm just gonna share mine, um, but all of them have uh, a couple things in common. Actually, all of them have one thing in common and uh, that is eating um, the, the right amount of calories. So if you're eating more calories than your body burns in a day, you're going to gain weight. If you eat less calories, then you will lose weight. Um, so when I was really, really big and fat and my heaviest, I counted calories for a day uh, of kind of how many calories I was getting. And depending on the day, it was between three to 5,000, which is more than I needed. So I was getting fat. So once you start reducing those calories, 3,000, 2,800, 2700, 2600, um, I slowly started to lose weight. Let's talk about food first, because food, in my opinion, is one of the most important topics. I have filled up my cooler with a few things that I used to eat living in my van. Now, I, I couldn't cook any food, um, so I made do the best I could. Here are some of the foods I would eat. Wraps. Three hard-boiled eggs that I would mash, mush up in the wraps and uh, put some hot sauce on there. I would have yogurt. I would buy uh, like vegetables like this. I would buy pre-cooked meals that I could heat up at say a gas station or somewhere. Some chicken wings, really easy snack on the go, pretty darn healthy. Bistro bowls. Here's another version of one of those, a tuna salad bowl. I forgot to get spinach, but I would usually have spinach to mix in with everything. What else do we have? A little peanut butter, some sriracha sauce to put on the wraps, uh, some beef jerky as a little snack. And the list goes on and on and on. You can eat whatever you want would like to eat, whatever tastes good to you. I like to personally keep it healthy because I know that the healthier I eat, the, the, better, my, the, the, the better my body runs. The, the better fuel that I put into the, uh, the engine, the better the outcome. Um, do what works for you, but here's the most important part I've found, is when you're eating food, count the calories. How do, what does that mean? So here, here's a great example. I'd crack this open and this would be say a lunch or a snack or something and I'd look on the back and right up top it says 210 calories and uh, I would write that down on a piece of paper or on my phone. 210 calories. Boom. I'd eat that. Done. And then I would, uh, I would pick up a yogurt and I'd have a yogurt and that says 90 calories. So what am I at now? I'm at 300 calories. Now I know I don't want to eat 5,000 because I'm gonna get fat again. <laughs> I wanna eat closer to 2,500 calories. It's a great maintenance for me. And for the average male, I believe it's around 2,200. And for a female, you just have to Google that. Um, it takes a little while to get used to it, but as soon as you know the foods you eat and the calorie count of them, it, it gets easy because you can just, you can even look back and go, oh, I didn't count calories for the first half of my day. What did I have? I had a yogurt, I had a chicken wing, I had this, 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 okay, 100, 200, 250. And you can just, you can roughly get 
the calories that you've had so far. Things like, uh, once again, beef jerkies, pretty darn easy. What does it say here? 70 calories for a third, uh, one third of the package. So roughly eat a third of that and you've eaten 70 calories, which is pretty awesome. That's why beef jerky is a great snack. Uh, one more thing, let's go egg white, two medium eggs, 120 calories. Where it gets a little bit difficult and it takes some time to understand is when you have like a meal like this, there's no calorie count for the whole meal. But I can kind of look at this and go, okay, here's some potatoes. Potatoes, there's 100, 200. Um, I'm guessing that's about four ounces of chicken. I know chicken's about 200 calories. Uh, and then we've got some uh, stuffing, which is probably another 100. So I'm saying that five, 600-ish would be this meal. And that just takes time. Um, and if you wanted to get really into it, you could buy yourself one of these scales. And it's like 20 bucks, and you can go grams or ounces, and then weigh your chicken or weigh your mashed potatoes. And then just Google, how, how much does, uh, how many calories are in chicken breast? And for 100 grams, 200 calories. And you can just weigh it on here. Um, it takes a little bit, but once you know what you eat, like I said, you don't eat that much, that many different foods in a day. Once you know what you eat and you can kind of gauge like a fist size of meat is roughly two, 300 calories, you can, you can really get quite close to your calorie intake. And that's why Weight Watchers is so popular because it works because there's points and the points basically add up to calories and you're having an allotment of points for the day. Same thing, you have an allotment of calories and you can eat whatever you want, whenever you want, just don't go over. And if you go over, it's not the end of the world. Just adjust as the week goes on. When you're eating food throughout the day, try to track it. Try to count the calories and see what you're really getting. And if you'd like to lose weight, start taking some calories off of that total number. And I know that I've had a good day um, when I go to bed and I'm not starving, but I'm not completely full. I'm a little hungry when I go to bed. I'm like, hey, I had a good day. Um, I, I know that I didn't indulge with, with food. And it is, it is simple to a degree. Um, the concept is simple. Eat less food um, and you will lose weight. The concept is simple. But let me tell you, when it's, uh, you know, 8, 8 p.m. and your favorite movie comes on and you're watching Netflix and you know that you have a... Uh, a 7-Eleven down the street that has ice cream, that has chocolate bars, that has chips and dip. It's hard some nights to uh, to not indulge. It's 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 sometimes it's it's like uh, tor tor tormenting to mor tormenting you. Food is is difficult if you have a problem with food, and I definitely have a problem with food. And that's why I say try your best. I. About a month ago, I made 12 cinnamon buns, and that day they were all gone, and I was sick for the next two days. I just, I just have a problem with food, but I accepted that that I, I, I went way over that day of my calories. But throughout the next month, I got back on track, and uh, and everything kind of evened out. So that is, I hope that makes sense. That's my little food talk for you. And once again, you know, if, if I did it with a lot of packaged foods in my van, um, I'm sure that you can do it with a big, beautiful kitchen with a nice scale or uh, just reading the back of whatever foods you eat or Google. Google is awesome. Do you need to exercise to lose, work, uh, lose weight? Um, no, no you don't. But I just feel better as a whole and healthier when I do exercise. It makes me feel really good and uh, it's healthy for you. So that's why I incorporate exercise. Ooh, look at all those birds. And oh, wow. <laughs> There's all the Canadian geese coming back. Hey, guys. Wow. Uh, so I choose to exercise. Now, like I said, my exercise has changed a little bit. Um, uh, I do have weights now and 
once I have a gym membership. I will be going back to the gym because I want to put some muscle on. I'm a guy, you know, it's just, that's just what, uh, what I, I like to do. But while I was living in my van, I just had this one band, my body weight, and hiking trails. So um, I would try to go for like a quick little, not even a hike, but just like a, said find a little hill or a little trail. I'd kind of run it on and off, like little sprints or just, or just walk or just lightly jog or do whatever for 15 minutes. I would try to get 15 minutes in of cardio um, almost every single day. And then my band, I would attach it to my van roof, my, uh, my van rack there. And quite simply for biceps, and after about 20, and say you do a couple sets of these, like in total, say you do 100, it really pumps you up. It feels good. Puts a little tone on those arms. Same thing for triceps. I bring it down here and triceps. For shoulders, I would do that and then bring it up like this. Works good for shoulders. What else? I would do back, definitely not elite. Bodybuilders definitely don't do this. It made me feel good though, and uh, I could I could get to, I could tell I was getting a little toned from it. Um, so your choice if you want to incorporate maybe a band workout, or if you just want to do the classic, go to the gym or buy some weights of your own. I'm just saying this is the simplest way you could do it. Bring a band. Um, say you're going on a road trip or something. Bring a band and you can get your workouts in. Uh, what am I What am I doing? Back. I do some back. I do some upper back and try to get those lats down here. And then the simple squat. And then it, um, when I was really big, I could do maybe like five squats before my legs would really burn. And I just increased that. And then I started doing like jumping squats. So I would, and boy, does that burn those legs after a little while. You can do some lunges. And then for abs, the classic sit-up. And for push-ups, a lot of the times I would be in an area like this, kind of pull off the road and do my little workout on some side street. You know, just the classic, classic push-up. Once again, when I was really heavy, I started on my knees and I would do like 10 and then my arms would hurt. But now, you know, the classic push up, nice and slow down, up, down. All very controlled. And if you find an exercise that you like doing, by all means, by all means do it. Um, stretching as well, however you wanna stretch or do, do whatever works for you. I'm just showing you the very basic stuff I did. And it works, it really works. Um, say I wasn't near a hiking place or whatever and I wanted to do a little different cardio, I would do some jumping jacks and then I would do some shadow boxing. <laughs> and I, I had some people drive by when I'm, you know, fighting a tree branch or something for 15 minutes, getting some good cardio in. And they'd be like, what is this lunatic doing? But just getting the cardio in. Caught the camera there. It almost went. It was recycling day today. So I put my recycling here and I bring it down to my uh, my uh, parkade underground to the recycling bin. So that's the, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the basics of it. <laughs> you have to be consistent or it's just not gonna work. You can't pig out for five days a week, eat healthy for one and then pig out for another five days. The math simply doesn't add up. You have to count the numbers. The, the numbers have to, have to make sense. So that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for, uh, listening to my rant about weight loss. Maybe that inspires you to uh, just start, simply start. Track your calories for the day, see what you're at, and bump it down by 100. 
do a little more exercise than you did the day before. Uh, if you didn't done, go out for a walk. Do five push-ups. Because that's how I started. I want to give a big shout out to my subscribers. I know that the, uh, the videos have been kind of staggered. I just got a new job. Um, so I've been learning that. And I've got some plans for this channel, but COVID's kind of uh, putting a hold on them. But I promise that this channel is going to turn into a bit more of a consistent thing in the, in the months to come. So thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys in the next video. Not sure what it's going to be, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Excited about it. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, have a good day and keep living the dream. Bye. That's a good sound. Mixed with birds chirping, even better sound.